Uh, this weekend, you know, I have an app on my phone right here, and it, it's called um, uh, Kitco, and and you can see it. Well, maybe you can't, but maybe you can see it right there a little bit. And I looked, and I checked the silver prices. I was still on top of it. Whoa, fourteen fifty eight. So I immediately went over to JM Bullion to see how much I could get, like twenty ounces of silver for, and it was like like nineteen sixty one. Still five dollars, well over spot, you know, plus whatever. Prices and everything, they, they, they probably tack on in fees and everything else. But I said, $14.58? I mean, wow, it got slammed. I said, what in the world's going on? Oh, 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 wait a minute. It's the weekend. Nobody, or the wicked end, nobody's paying attention. Somebody or a plethora of people just got finished losing a boatload of money. <laughs> and you know why? Because they are in the paper game. They did not stick with tangible assets. They slammed the market down. I turned around. I looked back up by the time it opened up Monday here. And, and I give it a little while. I checked back up to $16.50 like ain't nothing ever happened. Then I remembered... First of all, I understand a little bit of our margin calls. And then I remember my old friend and brother, Jason Nipford, talking about his um, uh, experience in 2008 on the margin call. Um, and I said, man, 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 man. Man, you people, you you know, I, I know it's very tempting to get out there and, and to play the paper game with these shysters and devils. But you have to understand, they will sell you some, they will make you think that everything is, is just fail-proof, foolproof. Uh, hey, you, you got the investment of a lifetime um, and you are secure. Don't worry about it. We'll put stops on your account if the price falls below um, whatever you decide to put a stop on, let's say a dollar, two dollars, three dollars or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, we will make sure... We that will, will put a stop right there, all right? And on, on that stop right, you know, and, and, and then, of course, you know, people will buy out um, what you owe and you won't have to pay that much. Um, can you imagine if you had put a stop on your account at $16, only come to find out, and it depends on how much money you're playing with, that it got slammed down to fourteen fifty eight, and people start buying all of a sudden. They waited till it got slammed down, and did on the weekend, the wicked end. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. I can't help it though. No. All right, we try to tell you people don't play this game with these wicked devils. They go kill. They go run you into the ground. <laughs> Man, I bet some people out there are screaming and hollering. You better get your bank account numbers hot and ready and stuff because you better get ready to pay. Um, but many of you lost a lot of money. And it depends on how much, or how many ounces are you playing with on those contracts as well. Um, I mean, you only up front, what, 10% and stuff, but then you get to fool with it. Like, anyway. Most anyway, it'll take me forever to get many of you to understand or whatever. And I'll just go check out Jason before he explain it to you. But man, I've seen that. I go, oh, another drop. <laughs> the gangsters that drove by again. <laughs> I'm telling you, they are going to steal all of your wealth, hook or crook. Keep trusting in the system. You get what you want. But I know I saw that thing go down to 1458, and then Brother Scott comes in. Pastor, they slam the markets. I said, I see. I see. I see. <laughs> Whoa, mercy. Man, hey. I don't know what it's going to take for some of you. I feel sorry. I, I truly do. And I know many of you, you don't even know what I'm talking about anyway. It don't make no difference anyway, does it now? <laughs> 